This piece is called Daughter of a Priest. Uh, the reason for the title is that the model is actually the daughter of a priest and half her family won't speak to her because they're so disappointed that her father had a family, got married and had children. So, you know, I like to work with my friends as models because, it, you know, for me, it's like if I'm going to make someone into a piece of artwork, it's a relationship and it's something that, is, you know, for me is going to be quite in depth and go on and on. So um, when I was looking for a model, I, it took me quite a while to find somebody and, you know, having conversations like... Um, can I cast your torso? Uh, lots of people were like, uh, hang on. Um, and it was, you know, I wanted someone who was really interested in properly being made into a piece of art and that they were really interested in the whole experience. So after a few months of um, basically eyeing up my friends' torsos, like having a conversation and my eyes would drift downwards and then up again and it was just like... And I get caught doing it, and it was like, oh, I'm looking for a model for a piece of artwork. I want to turn you into a plant pot. And so this is the plant pot. She's got drainage holes so that you can actually properly plant her up. Uh, she's stoneware clay, which means she's frost resistant. So she is very much designed to be durable and to go outside. Um, I painted her with an iron oxide wash and then uh, washed it off, but that's the dark areas you can see on her. So she's um, not, in, not exactly glazed. Uh, one of the original ideas where the inspiration came from is um, the head of a ship, you know, when you've got the female form just in that angle going out to sea, you know, heading away. I forget what they're called. Um, and also the other thing is um, when you go around all the patios of Spain and you see all these beautiful hanging wall planters with geraniums out overflowing, and I love all those. So it's kind of a combination of those two elements to have this figure hanging off your wall with flowers or, you know, a bit of ivy and in this case of Christmas decorations because it's... Uh, Christmas time. It was good fun making the actual cast. We went up onto the roof terrace and I put plastic down because I knew it was going to be messy and it was a nice day um, but you know in my crazy life I have to deal with things and uh, the neighbours were looking over the wall and it was like oh no but luckily the model was very confident very happy with what she was doing and she put her arms out and yeah she let me cover her in plaster which was fun. <laughs> I think there's a lot of scope in this this um, artwork and I want to really work on it a lot more. This is actually uh, one of the first pieces I've made and I've got loads more ideas of what to do with her. This one's got the roses going up. You know, the roses are the beauty of life, but it's also got the thorns on them, which represents the inevitable suffering of life. I made the um, flowers um, from an icing tutorial on YouTube because, to be quite honest with you, clay is very similar to um, cake icing and pastry and things like that. So, um, yeah, and it seemed to work quite well. I just had to adapt the technique slightly. I think she would add any kind of... Well, she would add a romantic energy to, you know, to any garden is my cat yeah so this is uh, Ica del Curo Cura